What's going on my fellow graphic designers, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm showing you guys how you can make the stream overlay that I showed you guys in my last video. I'm going to show you guys how you can make it from scratch. So once you know how to do this, you can make your own overlays for other people or for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, once you're at photop.com or you can do this in Photoshop as well, go ahead and click on new project. For the width we're going to do 1920 and for the height we're going to do 1080. And for the background we're going to choose transparent and hit create. So now basically what we're going to be using is the type tool and the pen tool. That's uh, pretty sure that's all we're going to be using. And so it's going to be pretty easy. So first we're going to get our pen tool and for the fill, we're going to choose just a bright color for now so we can see it. And I'm just going to start out at the top left somewhere up here, about right here. Hold shift, go out a little bit, maybe about this much. And then just go down a little bit, angle it, hold shift, go across, and then hold shift, go straight up. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to mirror this so they're the exact same on each side. So now control J to duplicate it. Control alt T, right click and flip it horizontally. And now use your arrow key and shift. I'm, gonna, I'm using my right arrow key so I can move it right. And I'm using shift to speed it up. So now they're lined up, so we're just gonna combine the two. So right click on them and merge the layers. Now we're just gonna center this like that. And we can even move it down if you want more of this part showing. So about this much is good. Now I did forget to add the little spot at the bottom of the other one, but that's okay. We don't really need it. So let's go back to our pen tool, change the color. We're gonna do like a green this time. Start out somewhere up here. Go down just a bit, hold shift, go across, go down just a little bit, and then hold shift, go across again, like that. Move it below your red layer. So now we can duplicate it, do the same thing we did with the last one. Control Alt T, flip it, right arrow key and hold shift, and we're just going to move it to the other side. Like that. Make sure these are the same. So let's go ahead and click on this one. Yeah. All right. So now we're ready to add our last little part right here. So go ahead and go to your pen tool again. Change the fill to something. We'll just do light blue. And this one's going to be a little. So we're going to go right here. Hold shift. Go straight across. And then just go up. And then go back to your initial starting point. Move that layer below all the others. Okay, duplicate it, control alt T, and we're gonna move it to the other side, like that. Okay, now we're ready to start making the colors more accurate. So we're gonna start out with the top one, double click on it, go to color overlay, change it to like a dark gray, like that. And now we're gonna, we should probably merge these layers, like both the green ones and both the blue ones. So just hold control, click on both, merge them. Do the same for the blue ones. Okay, so now double click on the green layer and you can add a color overlay and change it to whatever color you want. Honestly, dude, I'm feeling green today. I'm gonna go with green and I think it looks pretty cool. For shape two, we're just gonna use the same gray as up here. So when you go to color overlay and click on the box, just click on this gray and you can see that that's sick, dude. Not even lying, bro. This looks really nice. Yeah, so you could just like pull these down a bit with your arrow key if you want, all that fun stuff. So now we're ready to add the text. So go to your type tool over here, go to the top, and center align the text first off. I haven't been doing this, but that'll make it to where you don't have to move your text again. Type in your name. I'm gonna type in Cambit. We're just gonna make the color white up here for now. The size, I'm not sure yet. Let's go to the font and change it. I'm gonna go with this one. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna center it. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm just going to double click on it. Go to gradient overlay. Turn the scale all the way to 10. Click on that gradient color box. Make this white like right next to the black. And turn this black one to like a little bit darker than the white. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Hit okay, hit okay, hit okay. Okay, so you could add social media here, which I'll show you how to do that, but so we'll go ahead and look up like Twitter logo PNG. Find one that's a PNG. So let me find one real quick. Um found one. Bring it back, control V. It's massive, of course, so control T and we're gonna have to like resize this. Holy crap, it's lagging. I hate when they're massive like this, but it makes them good quality when they're this big. So okay, we're just gonna shrink it so it fits right here. And we could have made these a little bit bigger, but I wasn't intending on doing the social media. So here we got this Twitter logo now. If we double click on it and go to color overlay, we could turn it to white. Actually, gray, gray wasn't too bad. Let's see what that looks like for now. And it's not bad. And then you just, you know, duplicate this text. Bring it over here. You know, adjust all that stuff. And that's how you add your social media and all that. I'm not going to do that because I didn't make it for that. So let's go ahead and get rid of all that. We're going to keep it simple today. All right. So now we have this overlay and it looks really nice. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you how you can make a face cam. So go ahead and go to your rectangle tool. Go up to fill and make sure that's an X. That means it's transparent. So there will be no fill for the stroke. Go ahead and make it whatever color you want. Um, I'll just do gray for now and then click anywhere on your canvas for the width. We're going to do 1280 for the height 720. Okay. Now we got this face cam. Holy cow. I can't grab it. All right. Control alt T and we're going to shrink it. Okay. Get your rectangle right tool selected, have it highlighted. Now we're going to make the stroke a little bit thicker about 22 P. Now double click on that layer and we're going to add a green stroke to it. Holy crap, my phone. Okay, geez. Like that. And you would just put your face cam in the middle. Something really simple, you know, you could even add a glow around it, whatever you want to do. So that's how you'd make a face cam. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. As always, I make a lot of other content like this. So if you're new, feel free to check it out. And my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I hope you guys could help me out with that. And that's all I got for you guys today. Have a good one. Peace.